Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to correct a certain problem that I found with Windows 8. Is the email me or the email link? It, is, it works fine in Windows 8, but the problem is it gives you a default mail client and that is the uh, the Hotmail account. So if you don't have a Hotmail account then you gotta sign up for one and use it and uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, and it really 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 pisses me off when companies force you to use crap that you don't want to fucking use I really 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 fucking hate that and I'm sure that a lot of you out there are the same thing hey man just let me do what the fuck I wanna do whatever happened to freedom right Right. Okay, anyways, <clears throat> I digress. Now, again, I just want to state that Microsoft makes a very excellent, excellent program. They make excellent programs and they make excellent products. But I really hate it when companies tell you, hey, you want to use that? You got to use our stuff. And we're going to make it really difficult for you to change otherwise. Okay, what am I talking about, you say? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's say I wanted to email my good friends at Skylar Group. Thank you, Skylar Group, for allowing me to use uh, their website as this um, example for this tutorial. So, for instance, I want to email this client, right? I want to go, I want to email. Hey, I want to do some work. Yeah, let me click on it. And it asked me, you know, with the new security features, with uh, the new EI. Of course, allow. Boom. Then you get this. Mail into your stupid Microsoft account. I don't have one, and if I did, I don't want to use it. I want to use my other mail client. All right? And this is how you do it. So let's stick it to the man. All right. So now that we've uh, established that that link is going to that default, let's go use blah, 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 blah. I'm going to show you how to do it to get rid of that. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go to the uh, set association files. Okay, you'll find that under controls, programs, default programs, and set association. You're going to see a whole whack of things. Okay, a whole whack of files that are associated with other programs. But in this case, what we want to do is we want to go almost to the bottom okay and you see here mail to right here URL mail to protocol and it's now associated with mail which is that stupid program that associates your account to sign in so that you have to sign into your account every time you use your damn computer you gotta sign in have your account running in the background yada 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 well you know what no man I don't want that crap. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this, okay? We're going to change this to a different program. So I highlight what I want, okay? Then I go to change programs. It's going to give me a bunch of different uh, programs to associate with. Now, I use Outlook. I love Outlook. I think Microsoft has got a home run, constantly home run with that program good for you guys so I'm going to associate it with Outlook because I don't want to log in every time I want to go use uh, to mail something why stupid so now as we look down the mail to URL mail to protocol is now associated with Outlook desktop or it could be uh, Outlook Express or it could be some other mail client that you want to use. So whatever mail client you want to use, you highlight it and go to change programs and then associate it with the program that you want. Okay? So now, now that we've done that, let's close it and see what happens. Alright? Alright, now remember, when I first clicked on this, it sent me to that stupid login to Microsoft's Hotmail account, yada yada yada. It's an annoying way to do things, so I changed it. Let's see if it worked. Now I'm going to click Allow. 
and bam there you have it no one have to sign in you don't have to do anything nothing now you have your email client your favorite email client that you want to use and then type your th subject your email so there you have it folks it's very simple it's an easy way to get out of that annoying stupid thing <clears throat> So, uh, until the next time, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye for now.